Hello dears, welcome to my channel, Maths for You by Atau Raymond. In today's lecture, we are taking up Unit 10 of Grade 9 Mathematics, Congruent Triangles. Theorem 10.3 Statement of the Theorem In the correspondence of two triangles, if three sides of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding three sides of the other, the two triangles are congruent. One can remember this theorem as SSS, congruence Theorem with ease. Given. Here we have given the correspondence of two triangles. That is triangle ABC and triangle DEF. In which the side AB is congruent to the side DE. The side BC is congruent to the side EF. And the side CA is congruent to the side FD. To prove, we are required to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Construction As we are unable to prove directly that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. For that purpose, we suppose that the side BC of the triangle ABC is not shorter than any of the other two sides of the triangle. So for that, we are going to construct triangle GEF on the side EF of the triangle DEF such that G and D lies on the opposite sides of EF. Further, let angle B is congruent to angle GEF and AB side is congruent to GE side. Finally, join D with G and label the angles with the numbers as shown. Proof Proof has two portions statements and reasons. In statements, we provide the assertions. While in reasons, we provide the solid grounds for those assertions. In proof, we consider first the correspondence of triangle ABC with triangle GEF. If we succeed to prove the congruency of these two triangles, then we will take up the correspondence of triangle DEF with triangle GEF and after proving their congruence we will be then able to use transitive property of congruency to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So let us First, consider the correspondence of triangle ABC with triangle GEF. In this correspondence, we see that the side BC is congruent to the side EF. This is what we have given. Also, angle B is congruent to 
angle GEF. Why? Because by construction. Also in construction, we have supposed that the side AB is congruent to the side GE. Therefore, by SAS postulate, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle GEF. So, now we can say that the side AC is congruent to the side GF. The reason for this is they are the corresponding sides of two congruent triangles. But it is given that AC side is congruent to DF side. Therefore, using transitive property of congruency, we can write GF side is congruent to DF side. Now in triangle GDF, angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. The reason for this is if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite to them are also congruent. Also, in triangle GED, the side DE is congruent to the side EG because both are congruent to the side AB. Therefore, we conclude that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. The reason for this is if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite to them are also congruent. Therefore, by adding 2 and 3, we have angle 3 plus angle 1 is congruent to angle 4 plus angle 2. As we see that the sum of angle 3 and angle 1 constitute angle D. Also, the sum of angle 4 and angle 2 constitute angle G. Therefore, by angle addition postulate, we have measurement of angle D is equal to measurement of angle G or angle D is concurrent to angle G. Now consider the correspondence of triangle DEF with triangle GEF. We see that the side DE is congruent to the side GE as it is proved above. Also, angle D is congruent to angle G. This is also proved above. And the side DF is congruent to the side GF. By using the relation 1. Therefore, 
by side angle side postulate triangle def is congruent to triangle gef but we have proved at above that triangle abc is congruent to triangle gef hence by transitive property of congruence we conclude that triangle abc is congruent to triangle def and this is what we want to prove hence the theorem is proved see you in the next video